Hello Cancer, how are you? Welcome to your March 2017 love rating. I'm doing something different this month where I'm doing only love in one video and then only general in another video which will be ready in a couple weeks probably. Um, just to give more in-depth and more substance to each category because I feel sometimes like it's not enough. So I just wanted to do a little bit more and uh, also I'm doing dailies on Instagram at Jane International if you did want to join me on Instagram as well, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Cancer, your love reading for March 2017. Oops. These cards are so hard to shuffle sometimes. Queen of Swords reverse, King of Cups. Not sure why you're coming out as the Queen of Swords reverse, Cancer. It's kind of a tough place to be where maybe intuition or the vibe or the feeling that you're getting is like I think that you're feeling that something is off off in your relationship there might be someone in your life feeling that this would be indicative of your partner or the person you're interested in the person that you're dating or just the people you're dating in general. I'm seeing like there's a connection. Okay, obviously if you're married, there is love and there may have been or there may be an opportunity for the two of you to express this love Experience and a feeling of renewal of some kind, or just some of you have a relationship that is fulfilling. For those singles, it would be something maybe new developing or something new growing and becoming strong, or the potential for that. But there's something off. What is it? I feel as though you are chasing a feeling, chasing a vibe, okay, I'm kind of sensing the queen and the knight as both yours, and intuitively, you know that something's off, but it's almost like there's either a sense of denial, or there's a grasping at trying to figure out what that is. What is it that's wrong? What is it that's bothering you? What is it about this person that makes you feel uncertain? Okay, there's elements here of darkness. And when I say darkness, I mean the unknown. Elements of things that you are unsure of, that you don't fully understand, that things that are... It's almost as though you have to just accept that you don't know something. For those of you where you're just getting to know someone, it's almost as though you want to get to know them all at once and you just want to know everything, but obviously you can't do that. That's something that just must come in time. Now, one thing I don't like, he's kind of rubbing me the wrong way, this King of, of Cups, okay? rubbing me the wrong way because he is very closed off and he is quite guarded he is not open and there's this element almost here of like selfishness or 
lack of balance in terms of giving. Are you in a place where you are giving more? Feeling like there's a desire for discovery. The word discovery is coming to mind. And you're trying to remain judgment free. You're trying to remain objective. But I think that you just can't help but fight a feeling or a thought. There's something really bothering you about all of this. I'm not saying your partner's being shady. I'm not seeing like deceit or lies or anything like that. It's just that there's this moon here and this hermit here. Maybe it's even a, a place of readiness for you. Like, are you ready, Cancer? The moon is always, uh, for me, it's always positive. Sometimes we must embrace the uncertainty in our lives. As an example, let's say you have a hunch that your partner is cheating on you or is at least talking to someone else, okay? So you check their cell phone. Well, maybe you don't feel, or sorry, maybe you don't see anything. So then you start asking yourself, okay, well, why am I having this feeling? Is there another phone? Maybe he's doing it online. Maybe there's a different email. And you start getting, like making yourself sick by trying to convince yourself that this in intuition, this, this feeling that you're getting is so truthful. And it kind of is placing a wedge of trust or a wedge between the trust within the two of you. Now, I, I'm not seeing a lot of action here. This is all just very in your mind right now. I'm not seeing that you're actually doing anything. I'm not seeing that they are actually doing thing, anything. But that there is this, because they are closed off, it's kind of triggering this fear. And for those of you who are just meeting someone, I think it's like, they may be guarded and a little bit un emotionally unavailable. And I think there's something inside of you saying there's a reason why they're not emotionally available and you have a desire to figure out what that is. Was it a past relationship? Was it parents' issues? Has this been, you know, their whole life? And, and there's a lot of energy being drawn toward this trying to figure out this puzzle of a person, this puzzle of a situation, and, and trying to validate and find the reason why your intuition is saying something. Now, I'm an advocate for listening to your intuition, but your intuition is off because you're in the reversal. And it's being overshadowed by this night, which is so rash and haphazard and careless and just like so focused. He's so focused on being right that he's not necessarily considering extraneous factors. And so you have a feeling and you're chasing that feeling down a rabbit hole but there's a need for you to step above that and to remove bias as much as possible and really think objectively about, not necessarily about why you're feeling this way, but about what this feeling is validating within you. 
right? The, what insecurity is it? Is it, does this person make you feel like you're too boring? Does this person make you feel like you're not attractive enough? Does this person make you feel like you're not smart enough? And then be like, okay, well, all right, well, they're making me feel like I'm not smart enough. Why do I think that? And why am I allowing that to dictate or determine the outcome of this relationship? Because there's beautiful potential here. It's important for you, I think, to embrace the uncertainty and to recognize that your, your tension and your anxiety about this is really just a reflection of yourself, if I may, if I make sense that uh, this person really has nothing to do with anything. Like, they're kind of like, it's weird. They're not even really connected to the reading. It's just like they're present. They're here. Because maybe some of you are married. Maybe some of you have boyfriends and girlfriends. Or there is a love interest. But right now, I don't see a development of this love into the next realm or the next chapter until you find balance because you are not balanced right now. I think your, 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 um, I want to use the word stress, but that's not really the right word, but your, jumping the gun you're kind of putting the cart before the horse a little bit and you're jumping to conclusions about things and about this person and about the future of this relationship as opposed to just letting it really go with the flow and there's a lot of energy exerted toward this person and again it is creating a significant level of imbalance but that imbalance is just within you now would be a very very good time for you to ask yourself and to be as honest as possible four of swords is about honesty and objectivity and really say okay like what insecurities are coming out why am i really upset about this why am i feeling distrusting of this person it's all insecurities okay so what I'm doing now instead of like doing my generals now I'm doing just another layer of cards for continuing in love okay so again with the, the general readings there won't be love messages it will just be about spiritual energies in general. Okay, here we go, Cancer. Yes, Cancer, I feel like this person, for whatever reason, you're feeling like There's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of like like you're you're on different pages. You're seeing them I feel like there's a lot of expectations being projected onto this person. Here they are, the Empress reverse. You are also in a reversal two reversals, king and queen reverse, and the knight. You're coming out as these swords. Swords are thoughts. Your thoughts are getting the best of you. This person is interested in you. Their feelings are genuine for you. But for some reason, you're blowing it up. You're, you're stressing and you're making it feel like... Like you're carrying a load you're burying more obligation and responsibility than is needed right now. You're, you're making it harder than it should be. For 
for some of you who are single, this may be someone that you just really, really like. And maybe you're like, oh, well, if I really like them, there must be something wrong with them, right? And so you're, you're putting that out there. You are projecting it. Therefore, it is in some way manifesting itself. Uh, I'm, when I look at these cards, I'm getting knots in my stomach. I think a lot of you have knots in your stomach. You're nervous. You're anxious. You are feeling sick, some of you. You are feeling so defensive, feeling like you have to fight. It's a very, very desperate feeling place. And I know how unhappy you are being in this place. I see that it's coming from a place of just wanting this person to love you or wanting a relationship to develop. If there's issues with you, I'm not seeing like fights per se, but something has happened in your relationship if you are married or committed that is causing you to really, really question the place of this relationship in your life. Is this really truly the person? Are they really a good person? They are a good person. If there was some indiscretion or some betrayal, I'm not seeing a betrayal, okay, for those of you who are thinking that maybe their partner has cheated on them. Maybe for some of you they have, but I'm not really seeing that level of betrayal really. But maybe there was some indiscretion that did occur. It's, you need to remember that it's a symptom of something deeper symptom of unhappiness or a symptom of something that they've gone through or been through but I think that you're fishing you're trying to find something wrong because maybe some of you just don't want to get hurt Ugh. cancer it's like stop okay you're there's something universal happening here. There's four major arcana right here. We have the moon. Sorry, I know you can't really see these, but we have the moon and the tower, justice and the hanged man in reverse. The tower is uh, major arcana. They are inevitabilities. You inevitably have to go through these points in, in our life. Many times, we many cycles, many new beginnings, all this, all this stuff. But I'm almost kind of feeling like you're pushing this tower to happen. You're, you're doing things or you're stirring things up, causing yourself to go through this tower situation. because you're afraid of facing something within yourself. Maybe some of you are even afraid to be happy. Some of you are afraid to really truly be in love or to really allow, I think this person has a lot of influence over you. If you are in a committed relationship, it might be getting to this really serious place and you might be freaking out a little bit. Some of you, not all of you, uh, for those of you who've been married many, many years, there's just something gnawing at your stomach. Maybe some of you are even getting restless or bored if this is a long-standing relationship and you're trying to find reasons to stir the pot. It's almost as though you are creating problems or creating symptoms uh, again it is so important for you to really ask yourself and really consider why you're going through this. Because I think that if you were to look yourself in the mirror, you would see truly where, where it is. And I think truly the problem lies within you. I don't think that your partner is specifically really doing anything. I don't get that vibe. If you feel like you aren't good enough or if you feel like this is getting boring 
or if you feel like you're not, like I said, smart enough, pretty enough, or, you know, any of those things, it's not because of them. It's because of you, and you have to be the one that changes it. Going on the defensive and being this king of swords, reverse, queen of swords, reverse, knight of swords, this like aggressive and, you know, on the defensive personality, one, it's not attractive to them. It's pushing them away or pushing this love interest away. And there's really no need for it. There's no need for mean things being said. There's no need for I'm seeing the six of wands and the, what's coming to my mind is like winning the battle. Like I feel like you're just trying to put a little band-aid on something that's much bigger. Right? It's like curing the symptoms as opposed to curing the virus. You may be undergoing really substantial change. You may be undergoing, uh, God, I'm seeing so many questions. Like you don't know how to feel about stuff. You don't know what to think about stuff. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know. And it's just like all so overwhelming. I just want you to know, okay, that everything is going to be okay. And when we get these, cards that indicate challenges ahead. Now, tarot it comes from the root word, Latin word, I believe, that is the same. It's like truth. Tarot is purely a reflection. And I've been saying this in my all my readings. It's like a, a mirror. Going and looking at yourself in the mirror without makeup. And then you put makeup on and that reflection is different. Putting on makeup is changing your mindset, changing your behavior, changing the way you really feel and analyze. So this is in your control to change these tough energies. But we also must accept that life brings good and bad. The universe is indifferent to the good and bad. You know, we cannot always have good positive messages. And I'm not saying this is bad. In fact, these are pivotal moments in our life where when you have the tower, it's pivotal. Pivotal moments in your life where you grow as a person and you become stronger and you become more emotionally mature and you start to accept responsibility that maybe you're feeling something because you don't like something within yourself. And so when someone behaves in a specific way and it bothers you, well, that, like I said, that bothering, that annoyance is a symptom, not the virus. Dig down deep within yourself and really ask yourself why this bothers you so much and why are you feeling so anxious and so much tension and why are you chasing yourself down the rabbit hole and because really it has nothing to do with them I don't see them specifically doing anything and you know if some of you if your partners are cheating or if they are working too much or if they are you know doing something that, that's bad you know well okay I get it it's hard and it sucks, but again, ask yourself why. Why do they feel the need to cheat? And, you know, hold yourself accountable. And I'm not saying that you were the reason they cheated or you were the reason they don't want to be at home, but maybe if you spent more time on yourself and 
falling in love with hobbies and falling in love with learning new things and being secure, being alone and not needing your partner so much and not needing a relationship so much. And, you know, you, you will grow and develop into this beautiful, free, independent spirit that your partner will fall in love with all over again. So not worrying so much about how much your partner loves you, but how much you really love yourself. And to find a way to fall in love with life. And, and I'm going to get tons of nasty comments about this, but almost like falling in love with the meaninglessness of life. Because life is really so simple. It can get complicated, but really we are just existing. And I think it's important for each of us to find our own purpose independent of, other, of others. And, and, and keeping others out of the equation and making life and enjoying life the way that we want to make and enjoy our life. Because while they may be in your life, they are not your life. I hope I make sense. <laughs> Again, I'm probably going to get a lot of com comments about the meaninglessness of life. But um, yeah, anyway. So Cancer, this is actually a, a positive opportunity for you to find purpose in your life and to fall in love with yourself and fall in love with what you want your life to be, okay? I always try to make messages that seem negative into more positive messages, but sometimes you have to go through the negative in order to even see or understand or appreciate the positive that comes from those things. Okay, and this just might be one of those negative moments that begets positive results. For, for a lot of you, I hope that's the case. Okay, So I'm going to leave you with that. I really hope it made sense. I really hope you got something out of it. So that's it for now. I will see you next month. Thank you so much, Cancer. Take care. Bye.